There you go. Mm, come on, put some elbow into it. Oh, all right, yeah, all right. right, welcome back. Okay. 9.30, thank you, Sebastian, for coming back. Um, today's the 2nd mm -hmm. of June. Mm -hmm. Did you do Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit yesterday? Shoot. Oh, sorry, I'll bad luck for June. Next month. I don't even know what that is, so no, I didn't so, do it. On the, so the <laughs> first thing you're supposed to do um, on the first day of every month, the first thing you say is Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. Now, there's variations on the theme. Some people stand on one leg and jump around in a circle so hmm. the theory is you have good luck for the month rabbit 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 so interesting yeah sorry forget it all right today <laughs> is the second um uh unsung her hero amy herzog mm -hmm. executive director president ceo of visit carmel generally great human being good good oh. and, yep. and a fellow pagrovian that's right there's three of us three. up here whoop whoop yeah we're taking Snow over breakers. the world um, and um, so, so just real briefly, uh, so we want to get to Amy to talk about Culinary Week or whatever else you want to talk about vis-a-vis -vis marketing for our special little village. But we do have a big council series of meetings next week. We've got closed session on Monday, a couple of items. And Mary did a good job in the pine cone mm -hmm. uh, with an article about everything that's going on. But Tuesday is kind of the main event. We have um, the next step in our police department remodel. So we've got an ad hoc committee, uh, Mayor Potter and Council Member Barron, that are making a recommendation on the next step for for that remodel. Um, uh, green waste annual uh, CPI adjustment for weight, waste recoveries. He's the garbage man, right? My brother always wanted to be a garbage man. He became a writer. <laughs> Natural uh, progression. So, uh, yeah. some, some information on design traditions we've been working on for a mm -hmm. while and on reestablishment of the design review board the budget which is really you know kind of the big one mm -hmm. um, thank you for all your questions please come again as brandon always says this is really the opportunity uh for the community to provide input on how we should spend money in the coming fiscal year it's a big budget i mean it's 40 million dollars all in 30 million dollar operating fund mm -hmm. so um thank you for everybody who's already provided direction and counsel obviously and and hopefully we can adopt the budget next week and then this pesky little um, encroachment permit at <laughs> at Junipero and Eighth, Eighth yep. that's been going on for as long as most people have been alive, uh, called the Fountain Project. So come and take part, and the tables won't be here, but we'll be all set up and welcoming the public next week. So that's what I got, but what do you have? Um, let's see, this weekend, I'm gonna start with something exciting. This weekend is the Carmel Surf About. Yep. Uh, it's a really cool event if you haven't gone to it before. I think this is, the second year back after the little hiatus that they had yeah um, so come and check that out i don't know what the weather is supposed to be but even if it's you yeah. overcast or whatever it's still really fun it's very family friendly yeah um uh surfing for all age groups and yep. uh, it's a great it's a great community it's kind event. of a it's kind of a tradition here yep. Yep. um so please please come and check that out um other news so we've been working diligently on our housing element update that's an update to our general plan rising to the challenge put before us by the state uh, where we're at right now, we have a stakeholder survey that's out right now on our website, uh, really trying to get a better understanding of what the need is, like what type of housing units do we need? Like this is a survey meant to give us information about what, what's, what's the missing element, a type of housing? Do we need more single family dwellings? Do we need, need more apartments? And this is, there's more questions on there too, but we're reaching out to all stakeholders. I think you and I are gonna walk around yeah. and hand deliver some paper copies or yeah. Uh, maybe a postcard with a QR code to the, the businesses because we want to hear from the employees too. I mean, one of the big things we know we have a gap about is the people that work in this village maybe don't have a place to live that they can afford and they may want to. So we need to get out in the community, talk to those folks and get, get those, those responses. Yeah, there's a variety of reasons why people might want to live here, sure. obviously close to where they, where they work, mm -hmm. um, the school district, mm -hmm. uh, love of the natural environment. Maybe they're surfers, mm -hmm. right? And they love yeah. our, our surf break here in the village. Yeah. So Maybe uh, they want to be close to culinary week, which we're going to hear about <laughs> a little bit later. Who knows? A cornucopia of reasons. Really? For There's sure. A litany. A litany. litany. Um, and then the last thing I have before we hear from Amy is just an update for the community. The two big development projects that have been in the pipeline for a while, Arica Plaza, uh, some people refer to it as the pit. We don't, but it's Ulrika Plaza <laughs> and the JB Pastor project down on 7th and Dolores. Both of those plan sets have been resubmitted. Um, the Ulrika Plaza project will be going to the Planning Commission in the next couple of months. So go to our website. You can find the plans there. There's actually some really nice color 3D renderings you can see of the, of the most recent version of that project. And then the JB Pastor project on 7th and Dolores will be going to the Historic Resources Board again. Mm -hmm. um, they've modified their plans to leave the community room 
where it is, no change to that building. So go check those plans out on our website as well. We'll link them in today's uh, Friday letter. Well done. Thank and that's you. what I got. I want to hear you, from you. Amy. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Hang on. Um, hang on. Is this on? Yeah, it was on. Far away. Sorry. Ah, okay. And I'll sit up a little bit. Um, well, yeah, today starts Culinary Week. Mm -hmm. We're really excited about it. It goes from today, June 2nd through the 10th. And we are starting with a kickoff party at the Carmel Plaza this afternoon. So you guys will be there if you're. Yep, I, got, I bought a couple of tickets to Yay. it. I'm really excited. Hey, it's going to be I great. Mean, all your fans, they now they'll know where to find you this That's afternoon. That's right. Oh, so. gosh. We better bring security. <laughs> I was thinking on the way here. It's you also know, like the royal family traveling together. Maybe we should. Oh, too, too far. Maybe can't be there, can't or, be there. Or like during the um, State of the Union, like one of you guys needs to stay back or something. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know what I was thinking about on the way here? You know how Ted Allen is coming as part of Culinary Week? Mm -hmm. He'll be here on June 8th at the Sunset Center. Next Thursday. Mm -hmm. Next Thursday. Have you guys ever watched his show that mm -hmm. he hosts, Chopped? Chopped? Do you know what it is? Yeah. So for people who don't know, Chopped is like they have four contestants that are chefs and they give them just this mystery basket and it's filled with like sometimes totally crazy ingredients like gummy bears and rutabaga and like just weird stuff. I was going to say rutabaga. That's weird. But they like, so they open the basket and they have like 30 minutes to create something like amazing out of it. And I was thinking about how that's like such a metaphor for life. Like mm. every day we get this basket of mystery ingredients and sometimes they go together really well and you can create something pretty easily. And yeah. sometimes it's like, you're like, how am I going to make well, something especially good? Especially during the central coast. Yeah. Right? Every day is a cornucopia. Yeah. I like that. It's like you just dropped a philosophy bomb I know. On us. So great. I was like, oh, that's life heavy. is chopped. So if I talk life to Ted chopped. on next Thursday, I'm going to mention that Will to him. Will he be cooking? No, I don't think he's cooking. We're going to, you know, there's a, um, it's an evening with Ted Allen and actually Dina Ruiz is the um, moderator and mm -hmm. it's going to be like a lot of Q&A. I heard he's really entertaining and funny and I think it's just going to be kind of a fun right night. On. But in addition to that going on in the kickoff party, um, I do want to encourage everyone, all your viewers to, to um, go to CarmelCulinaryWeek.com and you can get the full scope of what's happening for Culinary Week. We've got 30 restaurants um, that are part of Culinary Week, and they're all offering something different. So some have special, um, special set menus for the week where they're trying out some new dishes. Some are doing um, winemaker dinners. Um, some are just doing special offers, so everyone who comes in gets a free glass of champagne, or there's a, you know, a free um, awesome dessert that comes with your meal. So you have to really go on the website and see what mm -hmm. the various restaurants are offering, and then make your decisions. And it's a great way to either go back to a favorite place or try somewhere new that you've been wanting to try. Um, and would you characterize Culinary Week really oriented toward locals? It's really both. Um, you know. On behalf of the restaurants, we were like, you know, Carmel has an amazing culinary scene right now. And it's ha having like a renaissance. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, during COVID, not only did we not lose any restaurants, we've actually gained five. We've 60 full service restaurants in oh, one square mile. There's probably not many cities that could say that. Well, as a matter of fact, we make the claim that we have more restaurants per capita than any other small oh. city in the U.S. And no one has come forward to dispute that yet. <laughs> so Undisputed um, champions of the world. Yeah, And, you know, okay. we're such a mix of these, like, iconic favorites that have been here for so long. And <clears> people <throat> want to come year after year. It's their favorite place. And it's nostalgic. And then we've got some really fresh, innovative concept restaurants. So you really can you know, run the gamut of what kind of a dining mm -hmm. experience you want. Um, but it is an event that, we, that you know, we want restaurants. They, the restaurants have always told us that they, they are here for the locals. They are so community-oriented. Most yeah. restaurants here, I mean, they're, they're, they are our community. They mm -hmm. live here, too, and, and so they're very focused on community. However, we, as Visit Carmel, we are obviously also creating a, a, um, an event that is attractive to visitors. Um, Despite the fact that it's June, we have identified this this week of June is actually being quite slow. I mean, after that Memorial Day weekend rush, things really do slow down until the second half of June in terms of visitorship. And the restaurants and hotels both told us they actually needed a little something to fill the gap right now because they're kind of staffed up and ready. So um, yes, definitely something for visitors. And in, in general, even if they can't come for this event, we want our potential visitors to understand that there is a great reason to keep coming back to Carmel, that there is a, you know, food is a huge driver for travel. And this is a, this is really becoming a, or is a food destination. And this is a way to just celebrate that and promote all that. So um, I don't know how long I've been talking, but. No, it's perfect. Okay. That's yeah. great. It's great. So the big question yeah. is food better here or Pacific Grove? Um, we Boy. have more restaurants per capita than any other small city in the U.S. Did I mention that? Good save, Amy. I'd good say, one. Yeah. I'd say here as well. Yeah, I'd say yeah. here. Yeah. Go to the website. There's good restaurants in both places, but well, I think we, to, we have more. Come to my house or your house or your yeah. house for dinner. Sure. Yeah. 
Well, I don't know. You haven't seen Chopped, and now I don't have a lot of faith that you can uh, take a mystery yeah, Rutabaga, and make uh, Rutabaga great. and gummy bears. Chip right. can make a mean macaroni yeah. and cheese. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so sure. much for coming. Thank you for everything that you do to celebrate our village. Thank you for everything that Visit Carmel does to um, help protect the village vis-a-vis -vis our, our destination stewardship program. Mm -hmm. So, um, great. Yeah. See you this afternoon. See yeah. you. See you this afternoon. See you this afternoon. Yeah. And so hopefully see you all this afternoon, too. Take, Take good, good care. care. <laughs>